All right, guys, so now that we have our dude pretty much firing his gun, let's go ahead and create that bullet node so he actually has something to fire. And actually, before we do that, here's how it's going to be created. First of all, I already added the image. This is the bullet that I'm going to use. And I actually already added the star ball, even though we aren't going to be working with it in this video. I went ahead and just added it to the project. Why not? So we pretty much have to say, use this image for the bullet. And also, whenever we create it, create it right here by default, right in front of the gun. So that's the two things that we need to remember whenever we're creating it. So back in shooter scene, let me just add a comment like create bullet node. All right, so I'll just name it create bullet node. And what it is going to do is it's going to return an SK sprite node. Now, of course, this is the type of object that you can actually use in your game and interact with. And it can be, you know, used for collision detection. It pretty much is a really cool um, object. That's it. Simple enough. So, of course... Before we add it to the screen, we need to say where to add it. And that is based on this guy's positioning. So we need a reference to him before we know where to place the bullet. So let shooter node, that's our dude, equals self. Child node with name. What's your name? What's your name? His name is shooter node. Actually sounds like a pretty cool name for a regular person. My name's shooter. Shooter node. Eh, not that much once I hear it out loud. All right. Now, shooter position. Set this equal to shooter node dot position. Easy enough. So shooter position is pretty much the position of that dude. Now what I want to do is just get his width because I don't want to place the node right on top of him. I don't want to place the bullet right there. It's going to be based on his width. And once we have his width, we can say, okay, add that much to his position. And then it will appear on the right hand side of him. So we got him, we got his position. Let shooter width shooter node dot frame, which is the rectangle around him dot size and the width of the rectangle around him. Rectangle around him, rectangle around him, all right. So, now that we got pretty much all the properties from the dude that we need, we can go ahead and start making the bullet spray. So I'll just name it bullet, why not? And again, set this equal to SK Sprite node. So this is the object that we're gonna be returning, but we have to set a bunch of different properties on it. First of all, what image do you want me to use for this sprite? Well, how about, what is the name of it? Bullet.ping. All right, so that's the image that I'm using. Now the next thing you have to tell me is where do you want me to appear by default? Now again, the position of this is gonna be changing whenever we click and fire it, but by default, the very first position is right in front of the gun, right there. Now, whenever you're making a game, it's always a good idea to actually find the exact height and width of this guy and i don't know like this gun isn't in the direct center of it so you might be like minus like 42 pixels down but i'm just gonna go ahead and kind of give you guys a rough draft so for the bullet dot position we need to set this equal to a point on the screen using cg point make the first one is the x positioning in other words left and right and again that's based on wherever the shooter is so the shooter position, if I can go ahead and get the X property of that, this is just going to give us the position of the shooter. Now, what we want to do is we want to take it and position it to the right on his right side. So in order to do that, we need to add a value. So we need to add shooter width over two. And that'll be a pretty good location. And for the Y, how far down do you want it? Well, we'll just go ahead and use the shooter's position. Now again, this might not be directly on the tip of the gun, but it'll give us a pretty good idea. I'm not gonna like go and figure out every single individual pixel. So 
and now it's giving me a warning because we need to make sure shooter width is actually equal to some value. And now what we need to do is we need to give a name just like before. So again, whenever we did it with this dude, we pretty much did everything. Oh, a plow's driving through my road right now. So we pretty much did everything through interface builder and all these settings on the right hand side. But now I'm just doing it programmatically again. Nothing really weird here. Now for the bullet dot, remember that physics body. What we want to do is we want to set SK physics body. And the first thing we want to do is we want to give him a bounding rectangle. So what is the size of your rectangle? Well, just use the bullet frame size good enough and this just pretty much puts a square um around the bullet a frame and that way we can set up collision detection later on and one last thing that's kind of weird but you need to do it for the physics body you need to say uses precise collision detection and set this equal to tr true Ugh. so again all of this is just setting up the bullet giving it all the pretty much the basic properties of it but uh, it's just doing it through code instead of interface builder. And now since we said that we're actually going to be returning an SK sprite node, one last line of code, just return the bullet. So this creates your object and boom, you're good to go. It's in memory right now. So this isn't actually shooting out. And for that, we actually need to apply some um, cool physics effects. I'm going to be showing you guys that in the next tutorial.